All right. I'm so happy today I can finally have time to uh, review my 48-hour duffel bag from Fusion. I have this thing for a long time, but I really didn't get a chance to review this because I have so many other uh, briefcase and bag. But today, I think I finally have time to uh, get to this one. Um, if what if I'm not traveling uh, uh, with this bag, this bag usually is in my car. Um, uh, when I go to the park with my kids to play baseball, we bring all the gear, all the uh, baseball glove and all that baseball bat and all that stuff, uh, it's sitting in this bag. So this is a very uh, versatile uh, duffel bag. I really use it as a duffel bag regularly. But when it comes to travel, um, I always bring this bag with me. So I break it down, um, this bag for for you guys. Uh, it's a perfect duffel bag for two to three days uh, trip. To be honest with you, if it's anything less than that, one or two days, I have another bag that I bring. I'll show you. So if it's only one to two days, I don't bring my 40 hours duffel. I bring my uh, Go Rub. Chia one because I want everything like in one bag. I don't want too much, uh, you know, luggage with me. So that's for a perfect one to do today. When I have time, I probably will review this one. But when it comes to two to three days, I think this bag is perfect. Um, however, if it's more than that, I usually don't bring my devil bag. I bring a hand carry. Uh, hey, if I go to seven, ten days trip, most likely I will buy souvenirs, I travel around. Um, I want all my souvenirs in, in a well protected environment. So I bring extra uh, luggage uh, to, to carry that. You know, give for family. Okay, so usually two to three days, uh, I go to San Francisco for business trip, two nights in a hotel. I, I don't want to carry a bunch of stuff with me. Getting in and out of a lift, uh, a car, went, uh, it's pretty troublesome. I just want to keep it very light. Um, so I love this bag. Okay, let me see if it's working. All right, it's still working, good. So let me talk about this bag, why I like it so much. First of all, the strap, okay? People say, oh, it doesn't come with a lead strap. Uh, they try to save money, right? Try to cut costs, you know? Give you a, a, a wide color, uh, color is not really uh, matching the letter here. It's, it's green, but it's not, it looks cheap. But let me tell you what, I per prefer this one than the leather uh, strap when it comes to the duffel bag. Let me tell you why. Um, sometimes when I travel, I have my backpack on and then I have my uh, duffel bag on my shoulder with the leather strap because of all the constant moving around uh, and heating on my uh, backpack, this thing, uh, let it tend to slip off my shoulder, okay? It happens many times, uh, I, I stopped using a lens strap. Uh, last time I went to Hawaii, it keep coming off. I mean, it's bothering me a lot. That means I have to have one hand holding on my shoulder strap when I go, instead of having both hands, you know, for the family and kids and all that. So I I hate it. I'm like, uh-oh, is it a, is it a, a, a a problem with any strap for this bag or just the leather one. So right away when I go home, I replace it. I put this uh, uh, cotton uh, strap back on and I try the same thing with my backpack on, the problem go away. It doesn't slap on my shoulder. Why? Because it's probably more flexion and it's wider. And to me, that's the main reason why for a duffel bag, when this thing is so huge, constantly pushing against like this, I want to have this uh, strap with me. It's a well-designed strap. Okay, uh, so as you can see, uh, that's this is how I, I already packed this bag for my three-day trip. Uh, so let me show you how it goes. Okay, so another reason I like this long uh, ha handling handle here because I can put a jacket in it when it kick. When it gets warm and I don't want to wear my jacket, I usually just put it here and it's long enough to put two or three jackets in it. It's a great design. And then you just leave it long and carry it. It's not going to go anywhere. Right? 
Okay, so this is why I like this bag so much. I can free up my hands to do something else. Okay, so look right to the bag. I'm a big fan of uh, Five Flap. Uh, I put my phone and my iPad on it. It's very convenient. So you can use it like that. Put the phone here so you can... It doesn't. Your phone doesn't have to lean against anything uh, flat. You can just stay put. Okay, so Five Flap is very useful. I have it here. I also bring a super size <laughs> toiletry uh, bag with me. Why I need so many uh, room for it? Because when I travel, I want more luxury, more comfort, stuff that I feel comfortable at home. I want to carry it with me. So it's not. It fits really well. So it doesn't. If if I feel like I'm overpacking, I'm gonna put it, use a smaller one. But otherwise, I go big with this. Okay. And I'm also a big fan of packing cube. So I have one, two, I have different version of the Eagle Creek, old days, more new version, and the one for the pants and for the shirt. So why packing cube? Because I like to keep my clothing organized, separated, and packing cube is really useful. People who don't understand packing cube will think like this is taking up extra space. It's not, because you can come pack Com compress a bunch of stuff in such a tiny bag. You cannot do that when it's all over the place, okay? So cracking cube is a practical solution. It's not just for look, it's not just for organization. It's actually compressing stuff, okay? So I always pack two for my undergarment, socks, underwear, and t-shirt. Why? Uh, because when I change out, I don't use the, uh, the laundry service in the hotel. I keep all my clean one in one, the other one is for dirty. So I have two different looking ones. So when it's done using it, put a dirty one here, clean one here. Okay, so I always want two, even though I don't necessarily, you know, need the space for it. So I pack two. So when I come home uh, from the trip, I will take all this stuff and go wash. And this one go back to my, if I haven't used it, go back to my um, closet. And this one is for my shirt and my pants. So this is a different brand, I got it from Amazon. Uh, I just like the size of it, it fits really well. Uh, you can fit like this in the 40 hour double bag. It doesn't bulge out, it's really good. Okay, so definitely get packing too. Don't let people tell you otherwise, it's perfect. Okay, uh, another great thing about a 40 hour double bag is that you have two easy access uh, pockets. I sometimes when I travel, I don't put this thing inside, I put it outside just for the ease of access. Um, it's not gonna, unless you, you know, uh, do a, 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 any crazy maneuver, otherwise this thing is not gonna come out. Okay, uh, two giant pockets in the front is awesome for traveling. Um, as you know, I have many letter uh, uh, pouches and organization, but when you travel, you don't want a bunch of pouches, right? I mean, Everything in one bag is the perfect way to travel. You don't need extra pouches unless it's necessary. So I put my wallet, my uh, pocket knife. Of course, if I fly, I cannot bring a knife, so I'm not going to bring that. But otherwise, for local car trip, I just bring a pocket knife. You never know what, when you need it. Um, my keys and my uh, multi-tool. Already. And then uh, my battery, extended battery, and my organizer for nice and uh, uh, fresh light and pan. Always bring a pan with you. I, multiple times I don't have a pan with me, filling out document, and it's a pain in the butt to, and it's embarrassing to, you know, you, and to ask people, hey, can I borrow a pan? Like, uh, who the hell are you, right? <laughs> so I, I always want to bring an extra pan, no matter what. Okay, so lots of room and I have uh, some medication here. So all that stuff go back in the bag. Let me just put it back. Okay, lots of room. So I haven't really completely packaged 100% full because I want extra space, right? Also, when I travel, I tend to bring a uh, microfiber uh, towel. So when I go to the bathroom, I can just wash it up, refresh a little bit. Uh, rather than wasting uh, tissue paper. 
All right, putting this stuff back, my giant packing cube, smaller version of it. All right, I'm gonna let you pack it like this. Okay, and then my toiletry bag. People say, your toiletry is huge. I'm like, yes, why not? I have the room for it. I'm, this is a business trip. I don't buy too much souvenir. Why not bring something? It's not heavier. It's just more room when you need that in the toilet. Okay. And also the flip flip. All right. So let me talk about some feature I like about this again. Uh, awesome strap for your jacket. Two or three jacket. If it's big one, it will fit. Uh, two easy access process, uh, pocket. The thing about pocket is uh, if you're in the flight, you don't want to open up your giant luggage, right? Carry on is a pain when everybody's, you know, trying to get past you. So quick access to double bag, uh, your gear is awesome. Um, wonderful size um, pocket here. If you really want, you actually can, um, can get rid of this to... Uh, rope here and replace it with a long um, lock so you can lock this up okay like this it's not gonna open you know it's perfect um, and then there's a luggage uh, strap here this is one of the things that I don't like about this bag which is um, it's too um, flimsy uh, it doesn't stay put like let's say you put this into the luggage it tend to Fall to the left, fall to the right. It's not as it, it's it's working, but it's not perfect. So I don't really worry about it because when I carry my carry on, I don't have this bag. It's like one or another. So to me, I don't really use it that much. But if they have to improve, I'll make this change to a probably a leather strap that is more tighter, not as much uh, room in between. So it's more tight and maybe even wider, you know. So it stay put. But other than that, I think this is a perfect bag. Uh, you can use it as a regular duffel bag. Travel, car trip, flight, everything. So let me talk about some uh, pros and cons. Um, good thing about this bag is it doesn't look expensive. Very down to earth tone. I picked the older green color because I like this color the most. I have all the three. Um, it, it's not... It's expensive, but it doesn't look expensive. So when you travel, people are not gonna, you know, look at your bag and you feel like people try to get in and steal stuff. So this is good. Um, number two, it has a wonderful lifetime warranty. As we all know, Philsons uh, really have wonderful warranty. Anything wrong, they can either fix it for you, replace it, or give you a the money voucher so you can buy the same bag or buy something else. I think this one is 475 on the website with 10% off, maybe 430-ish. So good deal. If you use it like years in, year out, 10 years, 20 years, <laughs> it's gonna last you that long. So this is good. Um, it feels tough. I mean, the, the zipper is super heavy duty. It's not flimsy at all. The, the, the buckle here is like, it's, it's so, Chunky, I don't think I ever seen anything any hardware from any other company like this First one that I know of using good quality hardware is uh, Fusion. So it's not gonna break down if it does they fix it for you um, It carry comfortably over my shoulder. That's very important when I carry this bag Usually I don't have a carry-on luggage with me to roll it around. So I have my backpack a small backpack and then I have this thing so I do not like this thing coming off my shoulder. So having it sit comfortably on my shoulder is great. It's why it's not, you know, digging into my shoulder. This is perfect. Okay. Um, easy with packing cube. Yes. I don't like bag that is too narrow. That packing cube, you can find the way you can organize your packing cube. This is why and big and tall enough that you can move around. So if it's different size of packing cube, you can customize the way you want. So I'm, I have not I have not really maximized the use of packing cube this one yet. I don't have the tiny one. I don't have super, you know, the one for shoes. I don't have it here yet. Uh, but if I need to, I know there's enough space for it. Um, 
Let's see. Ease to get stuck in and out during travel. Yes, as I mentioned before, this pocket here is very good. Let's say you have this bag under uh, the, the seat in front of you. Uh, you can shove it in. If you need anything, just pick it up. Or you, you, let's say you need the uh, battery, uh, extended battery. You don't even need to um, take the whole thing out. You just, you know, get, get the cable out, charge it, maybe even put it to the, on, behind the tray, charge your phone while you're watching it. I mean, this is so convenient. And you can squeeze it in if it's too tight, the space, you know. It's just not like a hard shell carry on with limited way you can organize it. This is so much room and you can use it anyway. You can even put your feet on it and you know keep it more comfortable. It's awesome. Okay, let's talk about the bag. Uh bag things uh the cons, okay? Um I think this material um tin cough is not as tough as the uh, record uh, tree, um, the, uh, the 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 famous rocket tree from uh, Wilson. It's still tough, but not as tough uh, for its very good reason to to make sure it's uh, to safe weight, right? It's lighter, uh, but it's not as tough. So just so have to know, okay? Um, but I think this thing is, will still last a long time. Um, expensive from as a common. Uh, Duffel bag. Okay, you can tell if you go to Amazon, you look for a similar size duffel bag, like 35 liter big uh, duffel bag. It doesn't cost about $475. It may be like $100, $200, or maybe $300. But this is a $475 bag with the 10% off, maybe 430 But it's still not a cheap bag, okay? But this is why I like it. I like things that not everyone on the street have. I like stuff that is built to last, age well, looks good, great quality, wonderful warranty. And you pay that, you pay that extra money for those, you know. This bag will easily last me 20, 25 years. Actually, actually, sorry. It will last me a lifetime because if anything happened to it, I know is gonna replace me with a new one. So that $475, you can use, you can think of it like a, uh, consignment, <laughs> right? Because that money will never completely diminish. Your, your, your. If you buy one of those like uh, cheap bag that no, you don't even know what company made that, <laughs> or maybe some company from China. Over time, five years, ten years down the road, a little bit, you know, the 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 stitching has come off, it's breaking apart. You're not gonna use it. You're gonna throw it away. To me, that's a waste of money, but. With this, you know the warranty is gonna follow it as long as it, you know, as long as it's live. So, four cent five sounds expensive, but if you look at the, the package, I think it's pretty good deal because you only need to buy once, really. And if you give this to your son, your son has a problem with this, call Philson, they fix it. You know, it's it's like you're buying a a personal assistant <laughs> to come along with this bag. So to me, it's worth it. All right, I hope you like my review today. And if you have any comment, any suggestion, any feedback for this, or if, if you have one you want to show us, send us a link. I really want to look at yours, and this is mine. All right, hope you like it. 48-hour duffel bag from Fusion.